you have to embrace and hack fear. And when that happens, then there are no limits. This is Mikel Arteta, and this is Outside the Box. What do we have here? Okay, chess. Apparently, the players say you can see a strategy like no one else. One of the toughest things as a manager, I think, is to simplify all the ideas and concepts that we had and put it together in a very visual and simplified way. I like to innovate and I like to think um, out of the box and, um, and I like to be creative as well. Things take time, you know, and if you rush them and you force them, they don't work. It's a real art in management. Sometimes you just have to put the brake down a little bit to have to go faster. My UEFA Champions League debut was in Milan. The first memory is being on that tunnel, just waiting for the two teams to come out. A huge challenge for me to, to see where I was at 17, 18 years old. And then I moved to Rangers and I, we played the UEFA Champions League there as well. I just fall in love with that stadium, with that energy, with that passion. What a match day um, in the Champions League. It's goosebumps, it's excitement. The format is different, and especially when you play knockout stages, you are in or you are out. The opportunity Arsene gave me to, to be part of this football club as a player, it was something that um, I dreamed many, many, many times in my football career. And one day he decided to make me captain and that helped me and, and he was a key figure developing my leadership skills. The way he trusted me, the way he communicated with me. Our sense impact in my career has been tremendous. The first time that I started to think like a manager was when I went to Barcelona in, in La Masia in the academy. And it made me really curious about, okay, why things happen in the game, what sequences we were looking for, you know, why things weren't happening, how we could we change certain things to make it more difficult to the opponent. And then when I got injured um, at Everton and I did my ACL and I was out for a while, Suddenly that clicked again and things happened for a reason and Pepe started to contact me on that period and he wanted me to be part of his coaching staff. I know him since I was 15 years old and we see the game in a really similar way because we've been educated in the same academy. For me, Pepe is he's a genius, but he works as hard as has ever seen anybody worked. And that's the secret, the, the discipline, the consistency that, that he has. When we went through the process, and I was one of the candidates that um, Arsenal had in the list to become the new manager, I have a strong belief that I was going to impact the club and the team in a really strong way. At the same time, you have fears. But, uh, I've been preparing for that for many years. I dreamed about it. Yeah, one of the happiest days of my life. Communication, we always say, is one of the most important things because at the end, we have to connect. You need to be able to do it in a way that is clear, you know, and you can show your emotions, your ideas, uh, your belief, to be able to put yourself in, in the other person's shoes. I think that's a, a big quality to have. But data is, is becoming more and more important. I use data a lot to understand certain concepts of the game and I try to amplify performance. I love possession when it's in the right area with the right purpose. I want my teams to have the ball to attack as much as possible, to be very direct to goal, and if we can attack in two passes, don't use 22. From day one in my Nigeria career, Arsenal to now. So the one thing that I don't know, probably the complexity of the job and understanding that everything is linked, that everything is important, but everything is not urgent. A lot of time we are looking for success, success, success. And I think we have to be more focused on trying to really understand what it makes us happy. What do you want to do in your life and who do you want to do it with? <laughs>